What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and I'm starting this vlog incredibly early. My alarm was set for 20 past five in the morning. The time is now around quarter to six. I've checked out of the hotel, I've packed my car and it is the final 12 hours of our epic European road trip. I hope you guys have been enjoying what we've been getting up to and what we've been uploading to YouTube. I know I have, I know Sam has and I know Seb, James, Tim and everyone else that was a part of our road trip has also enjoyed it. It's sad to be going home but I've got a 10 hour drive so my mind is focused on getting home and just enjoying the GT cruise that I've got in this car. I'm so thankful that I don't have the Lamborghini like I did last time for that whole day drive back from Monaco. This is slightly shorter. It's gonna be around 10 hours to Calais with a couple of stops as well. I've got a full tank and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to cruise on just a one stop strategy as we're going back to the fuel challenge uh, that I uploaded yesterday. So let's jump in the car, get onto the Autobahn and power through Germany with no speed restrictions. I'm gonna be doing relatively quick updates on the GoPro and I'm just gonna try and capture as many sights as I'm gonna be able to see in the nine hours because this vlog is a sad one and I don't particularly wanna be going home but at the same time I do. I've been on the road for quite a long time now, about two and a half weeks. Done many miles in the AMG, completely fallen in love with it but I'm excited to get back to the UK and smash some plans that I've got or made whilst I've been away. And first things first, as epic as it has been to be able to upload every single day, moving forward for the next couple of weeks to three weeks, I know that there are things that are going on, but there are also days where I'm just gonna be having to spend catching up with emails, catching up, doing all the boring admin stuff. And like I've said previously, sometimes throughout the year, my life just isn't exciting enough to daily vlog. So I will be doing my best to get back into the routine of daily uploading, but please excuse me if I miss a day or two. My upload schedule is gonna basically go back to how it was before I did this European trip, and I'm gonna try and upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So three videos a week, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can start moving that up to four, to five, to six, to seven, as we get into May, June, July, and the supercar season in London kicks off. But for now, unfortunately, knowing what I've got going on, and knowing what my diary is looking like, I'm gonna be moving back to the three-day uploading schedule. It has been incredibly fun doing the daily uploads, and hopefully you guys have been enjoying it as well, but I would much rather focus on uploading quality videos rather than just uploading quantity. Like I kind of got into the routine when I daily vlogged uh, back last year. I kind of found myself uploading vlogs from the office and I'd much rather be uploading exciting stuff that you guys really want to tune into. Fingers crossed, we're gonna to get to Stuttgart in about an hour. We've been going for an hour and a half, so this is, we're just making good time. Our Google Maps is telling us we're gonna to get to our Euro Tunnel about two hours before our actual train. But we're playing it so that we might be able to have either a relaxed stop for lunch, or we get to the Euro Tunnel and we catch an earlier train and get back to the UK earlier. Now, both times that I've traveled back with Sam from these European trips, we both pulled up to the ticket booth at the Euro Tunnel, and Sam has been about two minutes in front of me, and every single time he gets the last spot on the early train, and then I get the later one. So this time, I'm gonna try and go ahead of him. Not that he knows that yet. This, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming up to the border from Germany to France. Well, I spent half an hour trying to get my camera set up to capture the border crossing moment. We just crossed the border. 
<laughs> and Sam there confirming that we are now in France and he missed the border. I didn't. There's a river. And Swiss BMW, a French Renault, and a Netherlands BW. What is he doing? French update for you. The weather sucks. The lovely French weather is in full swing. So in my previous few videos when we've been on the Italian motorways, you would have seen me climbing all over my car to get a ticket at the toll because it's on the left hand side. And yeah, it's a pain because this is a right hand drive car. However, in France, we've got one of these things, which basically, is the toll ticket. Hold it up. Drive in slowly. And go. A lot of police at that toll booth. A lot of police. Okay, so my thoughts are as follows. There's only so many times that you can film this long journey. Now, I did it this time last year, driving back from Cologne. It was slightly shorter, but still fundamentally the same concept. Pretty much the same roads, pretty much the same weather. We've just got different cars. Um, so I basically haven't filmed for the last two hours and we've just been plodding along There's really not much to see apart from Myself and Sam are suspecting that there is an event on at the Nürburgring at the moment because we've seen three Supercar convoys obviously we're driving so we can't car spot but the first convoy had an F12 in like a silver baby blue it had a white Porsche GT3 or GT3 RS. It did have a big wing, so maybe it was the RS. A 918, it had a dark gray slash black 918 from what I could see, an R8 and a few other cars, which was wicked to see. Definitely not expecting it. And it was during, it was about pelting it down with rain. So I was just like trying to find the road. And then all of a sudden these bright headlights come this way and you only really see them about 30 meters in front of you, but that was epic. I do not believe that for the first time, it seems the closer to Calais, the closer to England, the better the weather's got. <laughs> I don't know how, but it's sunny, blue sky, and I hear that in the UK it is raining. Just an awful weather, an awful weekend of weather. So Calais, good weather at the moment. We have made it to the Euro Tunnel, and even though we didn't get an earlier train, this is R, we're supposed to get on at 20 past five. The time is, um, what is the time? Quarter past four, which means we're getting on an earlier train because we just snuck on. They probably couldn't really turn us away because we've got loads of cars behind us. So it worked out well. We are en route to the UK. Woohoo! We have made it onto the Euro Tunnel. We've got a big trailer in front of me and Sam's F-Type is behind me and what a seriously long day it has been. I know it's only come across as a 12 minute, 15 minute video on YouTube. <laughs> there's no way of shortening a nine hour drive from the south of Germany, almost north of Austria border, all the way up to the north of France. I've still got two hours in the UK but it's just such a boring drive that there's no point in vlogging it. So apologies if this video is a little bit boring compared to some of the other ones. I just wanted to round off such an epic trip with one last vlog of the drive back. And the AMG has just outperformed. It has just been incredible, absolutely incredible. I'm gonna leave it at that without waffling. So thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. As soon as I get back home, I'm just gonna fall asleep. Edit this video for you guys and yeah, then probably go back to sleep. So thanks for watching and I will see you on Tuesday. <laughs>